Welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we sent Resident Sith Lord on all around um, brain damaged man Krupp Vush over to a World Chess Championship over at the other side of the world. That's hard to say. Your caravan has arrived at an annual expedition. This year, the theme is the Royal Game of Ur, basically chess. There are many experts on the topic here. Most of them are prepping while others have already started showing off their skills. So I'm not sure whether it was this event or a different event, but I, I know that the person said an intellectual based one, so I assume it's this one, where... It was heavily, heavily hinted at me to go because it's super, super OP if we win. We've literally sent a guy with like... Well, we can't check right now because it's paused and we've got this popped up. We've literally sent a guy who's got like 19.99 research. It's probably dropped lower than 20 now because obviously he's been on his venture. But, uh, wow. There we go. That was it. We, from a fence... Oh, come on. For the tenth final round, Krupp went head-to-head -head with the five-year reigning champion and lost. Your reward for participating is 16 Luciferium. Psychic Insanity Lance and 2,000 social experience because I guess it was a social event. Is that it? Are you kidding me? That was genuinely it. I'm gonna be very annoyed if that was the extent of our So at least he's got that I guess um, Cool, I guess we'll be selling off some Luciferium and selling off a Psychic Insanity Lance so on the subject of that while I was waiting for him to get over there um, We've been doing a lot more. Oh shit, we're on pause. We've been doing a little bit more research Just tidying up the last of these rooms here so we can finish off the church or at least one section of the five faction base today then, alongside that, we've been, uh, I've been keeping a close eye on the trade ships, and power management is kind of an issue, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Keeping a close eye on the trade ships, there was a prosthetics trade ship that had a bionic arm worth like 11,000 gold. We only have about, uh, silver, sorry. We only have about 8,000 silver right now, so unfortunately I wasn't able to buy that, but just for future reference, we should always try and keep, I guess, around 10,000 silver in the stockpile in that case. Because if we can get something like that, the, the efficiency on it was insane. It was like plus 200% efficiency. So we're talking like double work speed. And that's not including any other bonuses that it might give to like manipulation or work speed. Just a flat bonus to that. Um, someone's starving. Igor is starving. Igor's getting a meal. So I don't think Igor is really that starving. We have a spare refrigerator, don't we? Yeah, I remember this now. So we should probably get that in store because we have way too many meals and apparently not enough storage for them. And people are just putting them on the floor like animals. Like absolute babies. Um, who's our builder? I think it's Nora. Ten construction. Okay, fair enough. Jilp is obviously the person we'd want building, but unfortunately with the vampires, if you set them to build, the whole game basically goes into a meltdown. There we go, that'll do. Okay, cool. And we probably want to set that one to critical as well. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just copy the settings over from that freezer. I assume we can do that. We can indeed. All right, there we go. So they should be able to store all the meals in there. Can we get those hauled, my friends? I mean, I know it's, it's just berry. Wait, that's a raw meat. Oh, I assume it's cooked raw meat, though, you weird people. So, besides that, we are currently working on Rim Atomics, and I'm hoping this will be a nice way to deal with our sort of, um, sort of power issue. I think the base is expanding quite rapidly, and we barely have enough power to power all... Well, I've, I've had to toggle a lot of things off, the, the, the heaters, the, uh, some of the coolers as well, to keep the temperature sort of equalized. I've powered off the fabrication bench, the machining table there as well. We haven't really got any need for it, so it's probably best that we turn it off, but the power was absolutely in a negative. It's only, I mean, look at this, it's still in a negative, even with all of that turned off, because we're running entirely on wind turbines, which is not super ideal, I will admit. I want to get that dealt with as soon as possible. Oh, I also built um, kind of like a bedroom for our extra people. We got Yuki and Stout recruited. Yuki is a gladiator, so they're definitely welcome to the colony. Stout is fairly well-skilled. Definitely Dodger, Body Purist, Heat Lover. They've got good mining. They're probably going to be recruited to the Vampires. They're probably going to go to Bonnet's Mages faction. Uh, but obviously, we still got to have the Death Gauntlet. But they need somewhere to sleep in the meantime. They're not going to get a full-blown bedroom or anything like that. Not at all. But... They will get an upgraded one from just like these barracks we've got going on right now. So that'll have to, that'll do them for the time being. They'll probably stop having so many mental breakdowns because they weren't particularly happy about sharing. Ah, oh, shit, really? Observe Deep One, minus 40. Observe Mego, minus 40. We're still dealing with that, huh? Shit. Maybe in that case, Butcher Creature, just do forever. I mean, you, you have to butcher them while they're fresh though, don't you? We could build a mass grave. Do I even have that mod installed this time around? No. These bodies are a pain in the ass. Because like I said before, just these people running past them, it's given them mental breakdowns. Like in terms of colony, co colony? colony management, I'm doing a pretty alright job. I think it's not terrible. He's getting minus 80 mood from just this graveyard over here. I mean, I could forbid the area, which would help out. Or we could build like doors around it, which would stop them seeing it if they're just walking past. Um... Honestly, don't really know how to deal with this. What if we send Jilp just to go there and butcher all day? Or who have we got like a, a zombie butcherer? Um, butcher, butcher, butcher. Nap or pastel? Pastel, can you butcher all of these? No, we can't. Um, 
We could make a big old furnace room. That would also allow for some war crimes as well, but that's getting kind of close to the demonetization land. Um, not that ever that's been a problem. We could worry about... I mean, I don't really know. I don't know how I'm going to deal with these corpses, I'll be completely frank. I feel like I have to get the mass graves mod, otherwise we get, we've got to deal with this constantly, or even forbid the area. But then what happens if we want to haul more over there? Ah, oh, this is, um... This is a tricky one. Let me think about this for a second. It's kind of a temporary solution to kind of a bigger problem. I, we need to make sure that next time we get raided by the Migo or the Deep Ones or something like that, we've got some of them basically primed and ready to butcher them as soon as possible. We can't keep letting this happen because it's, it's, it's constantly adding like that. Just that little bit extra of the mental breakdown. It is a permanent difficulty boost, essentially, because these bodies take fucking ages to rot. I mean, they've been dead for 30 days and they're still only half rotted. We're looking at like two months of minus... Potentially minus 80 mood if we're not careful with how they do these. So hopefully this place... Oh, God. Hopefully this place being bricked up somewhat will reduce that. But of course, we still need to haul the bodies into here, right? But in, ideally, this should stop it for the time being. So he's actually... Ah, God, shit. Damn it. Good Lord. Um, Yeah, he's, he's in his safety chamber. The issue is the safety chamber isn't particularly safe right now. Um, It will give time for our people to once again flee. So uh, what we're going to do is once again flee. And this is a prime example here. Now they can run past this horrendous kill box without having a complete mental breakdown from seeing a bunch of uh, dead eldritch zombie bodies. All right. Um, we should be okay, I think. But I'm going to run them just to the other side of the fucking map anyway, just in case Donitz does... Oh, God, Nora, you are so screwed. Oh, Nora, you are you are super dead. Oh, the prisoners. Come on, Donitz, snap out of it, my man. Donitz, please. Come on. Not again. Not again. What am I supposed to do to stop you? Stafford, you're a vampire. You can you can you can kill Donitz. You can stop him. I believe in you, Stafford. Stafford could not stop him. I my my I was completely for fuck's sake, every single goddamn time. Thank you. Okay, well at least he didn't break the freezer, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Um you can Oh, that's a shame. Vampires that you've recruited, you can can resurrect themselves manually. In fact, somebody pointed out that the vampire that was a zombie was able to self-resurrect. In fact, let's test something out here. Let's test out some necromancy on a vampire. This could be interesting. So, what somebody pointed out that, that, that a vampire we turned into a zombie not only retained its vampire powers, but when it died as a zombie, it was able to use its vampire powers to resurrect itself, maybe back into a full-blooded vampire. If this works, this is OP, and we won't be doing it too frequently. But if it works, it is something to note. Um, so what we do, raise undead, Stafford comes back, then are you still a vampire? Let's just double check that first and foremost. He is. Um, oh, he's got some interesting powers here as a Nosferatu. Visible movement, we've got conceal other. Oh, this is cool. They're all about what, like hiding in the shadows? Yeah, hide. As long as the vampire remains motionless, they'll be hidden from sight. Oh, that's useful, I like that. Um, then what you're going to do, my friend, is just fucking kill him dead. Or Stafford's going to fight back. No, no, you're not supposed to fight back. You're not supposed to fight back. Um, just hit him with a death bolt. Just, uh, we need, we need Krupp. This is where we need Krupp. Hit him with a death bolt, see if that'll kill him. That did the trick. Oh my god. That thing is so destructive. Instant resurrection. Oh my god, we can do it. This is a weird way to scum that up. Does it work? He's back. Is he a zombie? Oh, he's still a zombie though. Ah, okay. She's still a zombie. Right. So that doesn't really help out too much, to be honest with you, because she's still got all those undead... Um, negative, so all their skills are drained. You know, they still have their zombie powers, but it's at a massive cost. I see. That's cool. It's good to know. It is fairly pointless, so I will admit. It's, it's not the, the most useful thing. Stafford is immediately draining Donitz. Hey, uh, can you not do that? I'm going to set in the same as what we've got Joe upset to and just go for, uh, where is it? There we go. Just go for animals instead. That's fine by me, because that also acts as a nice hunting method. Oh, good. Good, that's fine. Just leave, just leave him completely on the floor, ready to die. You shit. Right, rescue Donitz. Um, who are our doctors these days? So, Krupp is obviously one of them, but he's on the other side of the world. Who, was it Nora who's capable of? Someone else is capable of medical. Um, Stafford, I mean, welcome aboard, but I don't really want you. I might just disintegrate you, because you're not exactly a real vampire. The Raise Undead is so, so overpowered. I think we can all agree. I, I don't want to let the colony be this, this OP, because of one character that basically started with, goodbye. No, sacrifice him. Yes, do it. The new church. Okay, we'll wait for the new church to be finished, and then Stafford will, will just offer up on the altar. That seems like a great idea. Now, who was our other medical person? Let's go back to that train of thought a second. Um, yeah, whatever. You can at least help out a little bit. You know what? We'll set you as premium cleaner until Cthulhu is ready to take your eternal soul. Thank you. Um, it was... Let's go to doctor or surgeon. Yuki, Yuki, can you go and tend to Donitz for Christ's sake? Why can't you tend to him? Sorry? Oh, it's just blood loss extreme. He didn't actually take any... In 
Right, so we just got to basically rest it out. That does suck a little bit. So we can obviously give blood transfusions and things like that. I don't remember. What is that? Incendiary launcher. Ooh, that could be useful. I don't remember what, what lab station does it. Uh, it's not the drugs lab. One of the stations allows us to extract blood pack from people. If we do that, we can then give them a blood transfusion and, and basically top off their blood. Uh, so if you had blood loss extreme, for example, if one of your colonists was, you know, had blood loss extreme and they were close to dying, you could quickly fill them up with a blood pack and maybe buy them a little bit of time there. So it would be kind of useful just to have a couple of those maybe in the freezer, literally for situations like this where Donuts could be back up and helping things out. Oh my god, okay, so we've had one of these before. These things are quite difficult to deal with. A large piece of ancient ship has crashed nearby. It's a fire ship. Oh, it's landed right next to the kill box. I don't know that that's a good thing. I was going to say that seems pretty good, but in hindsight, that's way too close. Um, so what a fire ship does, uh, as its name may suggest, and you don't get any points for guessing this one, right? It would just shoot out fire. The fire will spread from the ship. Um, basically forever. So not only will it wipe out our farms, but it'll also scorch everything. Trees, animals, anything that gets in its way, essentially, until eventually we destroy it. Uh, that flame will carry on as well, by the way. Even if, you know, say this fire that is shot up right now peters out, that will respawn. So every, every sort of few days. Okay, so how do we deal with this? Well, I think first thing, first and foremost, we wait for Krupp to get home. How long is that going to be? Days of food. He's got nine days of food. Uh, how long is it going to take to get home? 3.7 days. Okay, nothing to worry about then. I'm, I'm fine with that. Krupp's caravan has met peacefully with the Sri Rato of the Bramble. There's two archers, three berserkers, five hunters, one trader, one warrior, th two mufflers, and three pandas. Um, we're going to move on. I think Krupp is more than powerful to defeat that. The issue is obviously we can't carry it all home, so there's not much point. I also think I might have stopped or forgotten to actually send him home there. I think he might have just been sat on that spot waiting for the expedition to end. Maybe he got himself a nice hotel. Oh yeah, this is going to get out of hand pretty quickly, huh? Um... What, what, I mean, what the fuck do we want to do about this then? Um, maybe if we just fuck again? <sighs> Lord have mercy. Okay, um, bear with me. Bear with me a second. Sorry, let's just make sure these doors are put down. All right, so we might be able to outrun this or we might not. This one's slightly, slightly stronger. Um, and there's only one door. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Go, go, go. Fly, you fools. Who's that? Yuki, sprint button, go. Uh, yeah, you, actually, you need to sprint, though. I mean, it's not really a sprint if you just say that you're going to move fast. Then stand still. Yuki's about to die. Um, shit. This werewolf containment chamber has not worked well, has it? Fucking I, save Yuki. I hate this game. <laughs> Fucking hate. Don it. You suck. You absolutely suck. I think I'm going to turn off werewolf fury. Is anyone actually opposed to that? He's Krinos level 10 at this stage. Fuck it. Nope, not dealing with it anymore. Every single full moon this happens. And I'm not losing any more goddamn decent colonists. Um, I mean, if we resurrect them, they'd just come back as a zombie. So there's not much point in that. Uh, sure, you know what? You, you need to be buried. Strip them and bury them, as far as I'm concerned. Shit, a goddamn gladiator. 1.8 days till Krupp's here. I'm not sure whether or not we can wait that long. Because the fire, the wall is just constantly catching fire. We literally can't keep it repaired fast enough. Um... Oh, should we just try it? I mean, look at how many people we've got. Look at how many weapons we've got. And we're going to be so close to it as well. My only concern is they actually might catch fire as they're trying to fight the raid off. As long as we're stood next to it, it shouldn't matter that much. Okay, let's give it a go. Fuck this. So, how do we want to deal with it? The only thing I'm concerned about is Scythers. At which point, I'm thinking we move Donitz to the top. Move, move Nora south. Move Donitz up. That way, if they do get through, we can flip him over into a Kronos form and he can, uh, can probably hold them off. Good luck. We're going to need it. I'm thinking we open up with a volley. There we go. Then we hit him with a death bolt. Oh my god, please hit him with a death bolt. I don't know how effective a death bolt is going to be against mechanoids. Uh, it's, it's fairly okay. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought might happen. Alright, so now we take out the guy with the rocket launcher because that's horrifying. Donitz, you're going to go Krenos form, my friend, and knock him out. Thank you. Alright, how we doing? Shit, if only we had crop here. Krupp, I miss you. What is that thing doing? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, you picked the wrong fight, my friend. Come on. Nice. Feral claws. Take him down, Joel. This is... Bonnet. Are you a psychopath? <laughs> Just firing an explosive one from about five foot away. Nora is dead. Long live Nora. I think that actually might have been... Uh, E11 blaster rifle. Oh, no. That was actually the Lancer killed her. Shit, I thought that was Donitz, but that's okay. Right. Okay. 
This is not bad. It could be going a lot worse, I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, can we get this gun, Werewolf Donuts? Oh my god, Werewolf Donuts can use the gun. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Okay, uh, everyone else, you might want to just shoot at that fucker. Um, scout Pranny. Oh god, that's really bad. Okay, ship's down. Now everyone else can fire. We should be okay. Just take out that centipede. Uh, Bonnet, how about another death bolt, my friend? I know you love those. Donuts, do not stand there. Nice. Okay, that could have been a lot, lot messier. We got very, very, very lucky there. The worst thing that happened is Donuts is on fire. Donuts is still on fire. Donuts is no longer on fire. Okay, nothing to worry about. That was that was very well done. Well done, team. Good work. I think that was some good use of Death Bolt. I think we got very, very fortunate. Nora is uh, is dead, but Nora was a Nora was a zombie, so I'm not not too concerned. Eagle, put that down. You don't know where it's been. Um, right, where's where's Bonnet? Hey, Bonnet, do us a favor. Uh, just go and raise raise Nora again. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, that was good. Well done, team. Now we can deconstruct these guys and get some... He's not dead. He's back up. Uh, well, that's um, unusual. Sure. Thank you, Bonnet. That wand he's got seems pretty good. It looks like it's good, but I'm actually pretty sure it isn't, you know. It, it does look as if it does a lot less damage than uh, than the big explosions would sort of betray it. Okay. What have we got? Um, a filled stockpile is apparently exactly what we've got. Are we allowed mechanoid corpses in here? We are. Okay, cool. Just want to check. Yeah, we can actually see a scyther there. Let's turn the machining table back on in that case, and we're going to have to expand out the uh, the stockpile a little bit more in that case. And now it's time for everyone's favourite part of the episode, War Crimes. A caravan from the seaside townsfolk of Nightridge is approaching. You know what? Now that I've read that... Oh god, there's a lot of them. They've only got branding irons and steel hooks. And they've also got a radiac. Okay. They are exotic goods traders. So if we're going to rob any caravan... I'm just saying this one's kind of up, up high on the list. You know, exotic goods traders and bulk goods traders, both of which are worth murdering dead. Um, we could put those in a kill box and weaponize them. Am I a genius? I'm not I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm saying I just might have a monstrous intellect. Oh, they seriously staying all the way over there. Cowards. Uh maybe they maybe they heard me screaming about how we're gonna kill them all. Okay, um, Sure, that's not a problem. Just line up here then and we'll, we'll kill them by fire. And Hello, we're going to send our delegation to greet you. Just ignore the fact that it's everybody and they're all extremely heavily armed. Um, what is she? Oh, she's an incendiary launcher. That's a great weapon to use if you're dealing with a massive crowd of people. Well, I mean, unless we burn all the stuff. That would that would suck. That would kind of defeat the point of the whole, you know. It's not a big deal. Okay, Krupp, where are you going to be, my friend? Krupp's almost here. Krupp, Krupp heard war crimes and he picked up the pace. Look at this man move. What's that? Is that, is that the smell of war crimes? You get, don't leave him out. You can't leave Krupp out. It's basically the whole reason. Oh, come on. You're almost there. Do not. Sieg. Siege. Oh, seventh generation vampire. Tsuki. What are you? Gangrel. Oh, it's the same as Jill. Just get out of here. Um, oh, my God. There's a blood mage. There's a monk. Uh, you are a blood mage, right? Where are you? Uh, blood mage. Yeah, I did see that. Okay. Not a big deal, I'm going to say. It's not a big deal. Wait, is the vampire also a monk? Did I see that? Chi. What? Okay. Um, sure. We obviously want to take some prisoners. I, I would really love to kill these guys, though. But, I mean, I guess I can't now because, you know, fuck this game. All right. Unfortunately for them, we're all basically in position ready to go and kill them all. So, um, it does suck to be them a little bit, huh? I think what we'll do is we'll sort of set up a line here. We'll send one person in to go and aggro them, which will be Bonnet because he's got the death bolt. Send Bonnet in. Just peek him. Peek out his little head from behind this pillar. Okay, no, don't do that. Peek out. Kill them all. Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, no, I'll take that. Oh, God, Bonnet. The blood mage. Okay, that's what we want. Holy shit, I'd love to get that blood mage on our side. Okay. And then run, 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 run. This is a Star Wars type scenario. You know when Han Solo's running, he opens the door and there's a bunch of stormtroopers? This is literally that. Okay. Oh, God, they covered a lot of ground quickly, huh? Um, how are they getting this close this quickly? Good Lord. Uh, death Bolt. Please. Okay. I'm glad he didn't fire in hindsight because that was right next to him. Ray Wolfen's another vampire. Well, let's hope he wasn't a good one because now he is dead as all dicks. I'm not going to try and take prisoners intentionally this time around. Just to put that out there. I'm not going to intentionally try and, you know, injure the blood mage or knock down the monk or anything like that. If they die, they die. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Right, you guys are going to fire at Suki, because Suki got a little bit too close there. That means Moon, by the way. Get out of here. Speaking of Moon. Oh, three days. Fuck me. I was kind of worried we were going to be mid-fight, and then Donitz was going to, oh, whoa, well, what's this, and kill us all. Right, um, they're running away. They're running away. Should we chase them down? Who has got non-lethal weaponry? Jilp has non-lethal weaponry. 
jumps out an eagle, chased them down. There's the blood mage. Like, literally right there. Don it. Melee attack. Jilp. I mean, Jilp can get close, but for what it's worth, it's not particularly useful. Come on, Jilp. Jilp. Okay. Shit, we killed them all. It's not that big a deal, I'd say. What the fuck is going on? We're still fighting Suki. For the love of God. All right. Go on, then. Nice. We actually got one. What's Suki like? <gasps> Suki's the vampire. Suki's the level 7 general. That would explain why they took so long to kill. What is that? The Jawa Iron Rifle. Holy shit, this is big. Um, Capture. Capture Suki. This is huge. This is like seriously so, so good. We got 7th generation vampire. Jilp is 7th generation. That's a really, really big get for the colony. Assuming she survives this, of course. And assuming she, uh, how are we going to feed her? We don't have any blood. Um, do we need to heal you up or are you just, uh, the blaster burns, energy burns? What's energy link titanium? What is that? Shield recharge rate? Oh shit, she's got like a, a shield buffer in her spine. Also gives her plus 30 hit points. Wow. Jilp's found literally his match here. She's seventh generation vampire who is gang uh, gangrel and so is Jilp. This is cool. Um, feed, carry, create blood bond. What does that do? Will that, like, recruit her? Let's see what happens. Uh, she's no longer capable of walking. Uh, you are right. No, she's just, she's just standing. Standing, I don't know if you saw that standing and then queued was more standing. Wow. Okay, that was a pretty fantastic raid, huh? Trade caravan's still there, so uh, we're going back for war crimes now, if, you, if you'll excuse me. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Stay, stay right there. Just stand there and accept your fate. That was cool. Oh, God, Mana Drain sucks. That's cool, though. That's, that's like, genuinely really cool that we've got an equivalent vamp power. Because, I mean, Jilp is obviously incredibly powerful. Oh, for fuck's sake. Move on. Tr crap, you're almost here, my man. Just just move. That's so cool that we've, that we've got someone equivalent. That's our second most powerful colonist, I'd say, because Jilp is b basically unkillable. We've, we've met with that. So let's get something to celebrate. I think we are overdue a little bit of a treat here from our nice friends, this trade caravan, who are particularly pissed off about the fact that I've decided to kill them all. Kill the muffalo first. Great shot. Um, they are closing the gap very quickly. Um, I think we send Donitz to kill the muffalo. Because if they escape, this has all been for now. Oh, we got one. Nothing to worry about. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill them, kill them, kill, kill the muffalo. Kill the muffalo, kill the muffalo. Kill the muffalo. Come on, come on. Come on! Oh, come on! This sucks. Right, get over there. Run, Jilp. Get within range. Come on, Jilp, 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 Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Feral, uh, what do you think? Melee attack? You bitch. Right, this one's dead, though. You know what? One's escaped. Not, not a big deal. I'll take it. That's fine. It's a minor setback. Right, um. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now attack this one. Come on. Aggro it, aggro it, aggro it, Jilp. There we go. Okay, that's all I care about. Now, war form. Nice. Nora's dead. We've got a load of fucking arcade cabinets again. Oh, shit. What is that? Animal spine? More fucking rim colony? What is that thing on the floor there? A painting. Just what I needed. Those vibra cells are worth a fortune, so this was great. We got a flat screen television. My god, it's like the generation game, except with slightly less murder. Um, how are we doing then? Donuts is just basically soloing everyone from the looks of it. Are they fleeing? What are they doing? Take them down. Um, why are you not fighting back? They're just standing there. Kill them. That guy's also a wizard, so if we could knock him down, that would be fantastic. Get him on board. All right. Um, wow. Yeah, no, that was a... What is that? Fearkin crystal. What is a Fearkin crystal? Worth 3,000. Oh, this was good. This is a good idea. I love it. Um, kind of kind of horrible, you know, but also kind of cool. Right, melee attack. Chase him down, Joel. Kill them all. Do we knock down the one with the wizardry? No, they are just straight up dead. They, they actually just beat a man to death. Well, I don't think we lost too much, and that's the important thing. Like, I don't I don't think there was much particularly sacrificed by doing what we did here, um, besides our reputation. And who was it died? Nora for the second time. So honestly, I'm not too bothered. Well done, team. Good work. That was, that was a great day for the colony. Jobs on fire. Jobs on fire. Dig the hole. He's fine. He's safe. It's not great, but he is safe. All right. Now we've got to tidy up all this mess. Stafford's also on fire. Oh, my God. Stafford's still affected by the vampire. It's kind of absurd that they're still affected by the vampire sort of fire effect, even if they are undead. 
Something in the distance is laughing at us. Jilp, a uh, crop, sorry, is 0.2 days away because he's having a mental break. Everyone else is fairly injured. Everyone else is having a mental breakdown. We need all the defenses we've got because I know what's coming up now. I've had this event before and it's not nice. This is, this is potentially going to kill guaranteed one of our colonists. So what we're going to do... Shit. Yeah, that. That's coming. Uh, bear with. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't panic too much. If you're easily spooked, uh, well, don't be. We need to stay strong in the face of all danger. Who's a zombie? Zombies, you're going to stand up here for no reason at all. Everyone else is going to stand back, and we're going to get ready to open fire. Bonnet, where's your weapon? Oh, my God. Bonnet, where's your weapon? All right. Um, Jump's still in a hole. My God, Krupp. If, if, if you wanted to turn back up now, Gandalf, now would be the perfect time for it, my friend. All right. Now we brace. Now we wait and we pray. Stafford doesn't have a weapon. Sorry, Stafford. I'm throwing you under the bus here, my friend, but it's entirely necessary. Come on, where is it? It's here. It's time. The people have seen it. Oh, there it is. Oh, why is it not invisible? Normally, they start off invisible. Oh, my God. I bet it attacked. Uh, or not. I think it maybe, maybe it might have attacked one of these faction animals because... So, they, they're, they're invisible until they attack, at which point they become fully visible and you can target them. I wonder if there was a dead faction animal or, or an, a faction animal that was still alive that ble was bleeding out and it attacked that instead. Either way, we got very, very lucky because now this thing is right here and we can try and take it out. Death bolt. Nice. That was worth it. I'm sorry, Pastel. That was worth it. These star vampires are fuckers. To say that they are... Obviously, you get all that build-up of it laughing at your colonists and mocking you or whatever else. To say that we killed that without really losing anything super important, I'm, I'm fine with that. Now, there is... The mana drain anyway, which means if we raise any undead, they're just going to die very, very quickly. Uh, let's put all the points into spirit, which means they're going to die very, very quickly. So what we're going to do is wait for that to end before we... There you go, right on cue there. We're going to wait for them to resurrect. So what I'm also going to do is suspend this build temporarily, keep the bodies on ice, and then we'll resurrect them all in the same go when that mana drain is finally over. Oh my god, another siege. Pirates from the Cohorts of Injury, fantastic name. Um... Apparently more vampires arrived. 11th and 12th generation. Okay, that's not too terrible. What is this person? We've got ourselves... Oh my god, they're a vampire. A Simacy sim 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 bloodline, sure. Not only that, but they're also something else as well. A blade dancer. That's very cool. A vampire blade dancer. We've got here a uh, succubus. Okay, sure. Why the hell not? And they are launching a raid. My god. Where is Krupp? Krupp, hurry. For the love of all things holy, please hurry the fuck up. How is everyone doing? Everyone's just like on the verge of a complete mental... Observed Star Vampire. Minus 80. Minus fucking 80. So Star Vampire Leather, also on the subject of that, is super, super valuable. So I think we'll just haul that into here and deal with that like right now. Igor, can you move this Star Vampire before our weaker-minded colonists to all completely give up on us? Thank you. Appreciate that one a lot. Luckily, it only lasts another hour. At which point, oh man, no, it, it, it's all automatically two hours, huh? Fantastic. Um, caravan arrived. <gasps> Crap, it's here. Crap's probably thinking, what the fuck happened here? Why is there a, just a whole bunch of arcade stuff lying on the floor? A bunch of bodies and then bone walls, giant bone structures erected while he's been gone. All right, Crap, do it, my man. We don't we don't need anyone else here. We've got Crap. Oh man, I completely forgot we couldn't even get through here. So it's a siege, uh, except they can't can't get to their mortars because it's spawned on the other side of the wall. That's hilarious. Uh, they do have one on this side, though, so we do need to go ahead and uh, maybe blast that. If anybody can do it, it's my man Krupp. Are they coming this side? Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. Hello. Nice. Oh, extremely skillfully done. Well done, my friend. Uh, how many more components have they got? Have they got enough to actually build that mortar? They do. Okay, let's put this down. Let's stop this before it gets out of hand. I think Krupp could probably solo this. He's got another point available. We could go for lightsaber defense. This way, he's going to be an unstoppable man. Like, he might not, right now, currently hit hugely hard, but he is going to be very, very, very difficult to kill. Take out Trebo? Get roasted, Trebo. Like, literally get roasted. All right, choke him down. Thank you. They're assaulting the colony. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Crop, as much as I have faith in your lightsaber abilities, I think we probably do want to pull back here. Go with grenades, come around the corner. Take him down. Shit! Ah, south. Oh, God. Krupp got fucking hit. Okay. Um, I might have overestimated him. I wasn't expecting Grenade Steve there. L Lightning Grenade Steve. Oh, well, it's okay. He's actually annihilating them all. 
Actually, not a problem at all. Oh, my God. He's so overpowered. Um, move, 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 move. Watch out for that grenade. Okay. Take out the Wookiee. Good work. What about the crop attack on the Wookiee? Okay. Um, anyone else want a, everyone else want a piece? Huh? You want a piece? Victor, I'll show you what I'm going to ram those grenades up your ass sideways, my friend. Andrew, don't, don't stop me. Victor will die. Take him down. Oh, God. Come on. Take him down. Nice. Get in there. You will die, Victor. Mark my words. Your day has come up. Think you can... Oh, shit. He's gone. Victor, escape. Andrew, you are not going to escape, though, my friend. Get him. Nice. Okay. Is he any good? Uh, asphyxia choking, obviously. I mean, that's how the force works. Underground and Night Owl. He's good at artistic. In fact, we don't have anybody who's good at artistic. Mainly because it's not that good. But honestly, let's go for it. We might as well capture him. And if nothing else... Oh, he got back up, huh? Um, excuse me. That was, that was not part of the deal. Excuse me. This is not this is not part of the deal. No. Oh, no. Our artist died. What a real shame. Well, the mana seems to have gone back to uh, the way it was before. So, was it Nora and Pasta we want to resurrect? We've got so many other bloody bodies here as well. So, what we want to do is probably say human light, but don't allow colonist corpses. And then, uh, shrink this zone down so it's kind of that half, yeah? Seems like a pretty good idea. And then expand the zone and just put all the colonist corpses, like, right in a corner over here. Seems like a much better plan. All right. And then we go critical, clear all, and allow corpses. And then we want to go for, excuse me, I just want, uh, allow colonist corpses. There we go. That's good. Yeah. Oh, no. Clear all. Excuse me. I want to human like corpses. No. I want to allow colonist corpses, but I also want to allow... I think alien corpses count as slightly separate, though, don't they? Or do we just need to tick? I honestly don't know how this works. Um, let's do that. Let's just do that. I'm sure that'll work fine. You know, if, as long as we've got... Allow strange corpses unticked, I think. Um, right, so let's go and get... If we can... You hold urgently. You hold urgently. Let's bring them back to life, because as soon as we get these guys hauled urgently, we can... Sorry? Why can't you haul them, you weird lady? Um, why is no one capable of hauling them? sooner we get them resurrected, the sooner they can actually help us haul things. What are you doing with that? Put that down. Forbid that shit. Right, go and get the other one. Go and, go and pick up the other body and just, just, drop, just drop it, okay? Stop. Just drop it there. Thank you. All right. You know what? Close, to, close enough. They didn't work at all, but that's okay. Oh, Bonnet's currently... Playing Rim Colony. Pigging out. He's playing games and eating a bunch of food. Bonnet, are you me? Alright, this is where things are going to start picking up. You open the communi- You open a connection to the probe and a recorded message starts to play. Someone with the slimy demeanor of used- Of a used bionic salesman claims to represent a training faction known as Rim Atomics. So, I've been told this mod is massive, and this is going to be one of the bigger focuses of the campaign going forward. I've never used Rim Atomics before. I don't know what it does, and I don't know what it's about. But, oh my god, it's like... What is this? Uh, research? Oh, what is this? This is cool. Okay, there's like quests? There absolutely is. We have to purchase? Is that silver? 250 silver, do you think? So, we can purchase these things, and then we do a quest to unlock them, perhaps. Unlocks the research? Wow, this is interesting. Okay, cool. Oh man, look at this stuff. Wow. I'm very I'm I'm looking forward to this. This sounds very, very cool. Unlocks nuclear power. Seems to be sort of the point we want to start building up to is this mid-game now. We're just doing a lot of building that type of thing. We've got this sort of structure done here. What I'll do before tomorrow's episode is I'll plan out a whole bunch of structure. We can focus on this and this stuff can just happen in the background. We can focus on the more interesting dynamic mod side of things while the undead just deal with this shit, because uh Kind of sick of building now, huh? It's taken a long time, but it is going to be kind of a cool base when it is finished or based around the central pentagon. What I am going to do is also try and keep it pentagon shaped as well as we build out. So it'll sort of stay in this sort of general structure there. So we've got, uh, we're still kind of being, you know, somewhat thematic with things as well. Thank you for watching. Let's give a shout out to the Insane Top Tier Level Patrons, a list that I am going to be refreshing. Um, how many days are in June? Today's the 30th. So tomorrow? Wait. Uh, let me, let me, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe tomorrow, depending on how fast Patreon is. So I'm trying to do the numbers in my head, so I record these a few hours in advance, uh, like, like 12 hours in advance before they go out, so that, you know, just in case there's YouTube processing issues, whatever else. Anyway, more to the point, we should have a new Patreon list soon, so if your name is not on here, or if your name is on here and it shouldn't be because you are dirty and have abandoned me, then, um, we'll get that sorted out, don't worry about it, but thank you anyway. Let's give a shout out to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Blurry Bunny, Sidini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Demon Daenerys, Donald, Facundo Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, 
Thomas, Harik, Jimbo, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Bullen, Mr. Smug, Muskrat, Full, Nathan Flores, Necro Phil, and Pelvis Presley, Skaz, Sir Thor the Swede, Stannis Manis, Toby Cruz, Tom Terror 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Bacchus, and Zazzy7011. Thank you all for your support of the Insane Lovers on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible in the first place. We're going to start picking things up. This is where the series can really start accelerating. Now we're getting into the mid game a little more. A lot less building, a lot less colony management, and a lot more checking out some of these cooler mods that we've got going on for us. And of course, having a dedicated space to do all this stuff in as well will help out quite a lot. So stay tuned in the meantime. A big thank you, of course, goes out as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Arachnid44, Ben Trope, Betsmus Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don217, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Gray, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Ice, Wallau, Come, Ice of the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jose, Yuan DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Lesme, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Marcus, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Shari, Smirt One, 16 Deer, 888, Talar, The Insane Pickle, The Forsaken One, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wolfie, Wol Wolfie, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico too, as if I would lose my voice at the last name. Thank you for watching. See you guys all tomorrow.